Hey guys, just going to do another uh, video that was requested um, just on the Microsoft LightSim pop out panel manager. So um, you guys can download this. I think I got it off lightsim.to, but if you just Google it, you should be able to find it. I think it's a GitHub file, but it's um it installs itself. It's a proper program, so it's pretty cool. Um, the only reason I got this is because I have a tablet, a Samsung S9 Ultra. So I use uh, Samsung's second screen app, which you can get on Windows to turn it into a external display on my computer. But I was using Space Desk and I couldn't, um, it was too laggy and the latency was all over the shop and it dropped my frame rates like really bad. So, um, and the touch wouldn't work properly. So using Microsoft pop all, ah, sorry, panel pop out manager, I can, um, my touch works perfectly. Like with anything that's touch related, like the Garmin navigations or the, um, whatever else you can use. Um, but anyway, so start up the program, be in flights and have your aircraft set up, um, ready to go. And you want to click over the top right, you'll have add a new aircraft profile. Um, sorry, I'm going to get a better microphone too. This microphone's not the best, so I've got to get a new one so it's a bit nicer to listen to. Anyway, but we'll just name this like test. Um, doesn't really matter what you name it. Um, then the next thing you want to do, it pretty much tells you, like it says click here to add. So, but the thing I struggle with, I watched a lot of videos online and some of them were the older like the older version and it's different to this version and it works differently and it took me ages to figure out how to get it working because I couldn't get it working. The panels kept failing to open and um, yeah, so anyway, but you open this up, it's pretty straightforward. So you just put your first panel in, I'm just going to name it left hand side. Okay, and this is where you have to kind of do things exactly as I'm about to say. So first thing you click you just click identify um, and then these arrows here you can move it kind of takes you between all the default instrument views in the aircraft now this is crucial that the mistake I made is I thought you could just go anywhere move around the cockpit and just click on stuff it's like do all the different views and just click on stuff now what you need to make sure you do is do whatever view to find the instrument. So this is instrument six, it's the left-hand side navigation. Okay, um, don't move at all. Don't move the view with your right mouse, just click on the screen. So after you've gone identify, go through your instruments and then just go click and you'll have the little green thing pop out. Then after you do that, you have to press this green icon to save it. Okay, and then that is done. That's the first one, okay. and you want to, this hand just toggles panel touch capability. So you want to have that on if you want to, you know, use like a touch tablet or something. Um, or if you're just on your computer, you could probably just have it off. Uh, there is options under here. So always on top, full screen, hide the top bar, um, auto game refocus. It tells you what it does, but I don't, I didn't touch any of it. I just left it on standard. So um, now we'll do another one. So we'll go, uh, we'll go add and I'm going to name this one uh, navigation display. So we go same thing. So we go identify and I'm not touching anything. I'm just letting it load. Okay. And then I'm going to click through and just find. So you can see it's instrument one on the uh, longitude here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click on the center of the screen. I think it could be anywhere, obviously on the screen, but I obviously just put it in the center. And same thing, you want to <coughs> click, <clears throat> then you want to come up here, click on that green thing, and that like saves it. Okay, and then that's it. So that should be done like for the first couple of panels. So then you should be able to click start pop out. Now, sometimes this doesn't work, and sometimes you have to redo it again, because sometimes it doesn't like register it. So don't touch anything, just let it, so it says please don't move your mouse. So we'll just let it all load, and you can see it's all worked. And this is always the case. People post videos and it all works and then you can't get it to work. So I 
about 10 minutes ago, I couldn't get the primary, uh, the primary flight display to open. So we'll try that now. Um, so same thing, we'll go add. Okay, we'll go, um, we'll go primary flight display. We'll go identify, not clicking on anything. Okay, cycle through our cameras. And here's our primary flight display. Click in the center. We'll look up here on the green one. Um, that should be it. We'll just enable touch. Oh, even though it's not going to matter. It's not a touch display. And then we'll go start pop out and we'll see what happens. So it has the left hand side executing. Okay. Navigation display executing. Okay. PFD executing. Okay. I reckon it's going to do the same thing as last time and it won't work. I don't know why. Like I'm doing the exact same thing and sometimes it just doesn't work. I don't not sure if it's a panel or so whenever that happens I just delete that whole panel and I just start again um, I haven't I have tried this in the 737 and stuff and it seems to work and I haven't tried in the 787 yet um, yeah but as I said the only reason I downloaded this um, instead of just using right out to pop them out is because when I do that and I drag them onto my uh, tablet it doesn't the touch doesn't work so I had to use this program to enable just to get the touch to work. But anyway, it's a nice quick video. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully everyone can get it working on their aircraft and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.